Hey guys, today I decided to talk about a interesting topic,、uh, mainly what is going to happen to the original copies of these cards. I'm not going to discuss the Eternal Master reprint versions, but it's interesting to see、uh, when a card becomes reprinted, and it's in this case、um, World Wake, Enlightened,、um, Tutors from Miraz, and then Sensei's Dividing Top is from Champions. What happens to the original copies? Now, two things can happen: either they can tank like Shocklands. So, original Shocklands are very, very close to the price of RTR Shocklands, or they could be more of a gap. More of a gap meaning the Fetchlands. There's a somewhat significant gap between the Onslaught Fetchlands and the Con Fetchlands. At least a more significant gap than the Shocklands. Mainly because I feel like they were printed、uh, closer together. Onslaught to Cons was a long time, as opposed to something like Descension to、uh, RTR. Now these prices seem to be going down drastically.、Uh, Force of Will is a very good example of a card that was over a hundred dollars at one time, and now it's seventy six dollars for the original Alliance copy. Now the mythic version will probably be around fifty dollars, I'm predicting. But will the alliance copy have a premium over the mythic? And a lot of that might depend on artwork. But I feel like there's another factor. And if you understand this factor well enough, there might be some money being made because all the decline of these cards seem to not be depending on that factor as of yet. And that factor is how far apart. Is the reprint from the original printing? So Caracas was reprint. It was printed originally in Legends. So that was a long, long time ago. People might prefer the Legends artwork, and that version is going to be a lot harder to get than the new Eternal Masters version. So I, I don't know. I feel like I have to explore this a little bit more. Uh, taking the Shocklands and the Fetchlands as an example of something that's happened, that I have studied, and I've seen a pattern, and I believe I know the cause of the price difference、um, and why Fetchlands have a wider price range from the original to the reprint than Shocklands do. And if that is true, these cards are declining all at the same speed or the same percentage, then there might be the opportunity to pick some of these up. Older versions or these original versions for extremely cheap. I don't know. I have to explore this a little bit more.、Um, leave me a comment below if you think I'm onto something or you think I'm just crazy about this. Anyway, bye guys.